So when we look inside the main folder for CinePunch, you're going to see that everything's well organized. For one, I just want to note that CinePunch is not a plugin. It's a variety of different tools. And I'm going to point you to the few things that you may need to install, such as presets. But let's take a look. First and foremost, we have our tutorials folder. And inside there, you're going to see your PDF. And inside the PDF, you're going to get all the different uh, CinePunch tutorials that you can access. They're also divided up per tool. So if there is a tool, there is a video tutorial that exists. There are over 40 video tutorials for you for CinePunch. Moving on, we have our Big Packs folder. Now our Big Packs folder, at first we see our PDF. And inside this PDF are going to be all the different Big Packs that you can access and download individually. And as I scroll down, you're going to see that it is actually a size per Big Pack. And you're going to have several different servers for backup servers. Just in case every now and then the servers do get clogged up, you can go to one of the backups to download. There is also a DLC container, and these provide you links that you can copy and paste for apps such as JDownloader, which will provide you a much faster automated download if you're looking to do a bulk download. So do note that you're going to need at least 200 gigs of space for all the big packs. And again, you don't have to download all these big packs. There's the video magazine, which I'll point you to in a second where you can just download single files at different resolutions. Now, everything inside the Big Packs folder does work with other software programs such as Final Cut Pro and DaVinci. Because these Big Packs are either WAV files such as the Sound Punch, or uh, the majority of them are going to be QuickTime or H.264 files for overlays, backdrops, VFX, such as Cine Dust or the Flares. And all those are going to work inside uh, other editing suites such as Final Cut and DaVinci. I do want to note that because I do get asked that often. So moving back, you also have inside the big packs per individual folder. So maybe you don't want all the big packs at once. You're looking for a specific ind individual pack. Let's say in this case, Anamorphic Creams. You can just go directly into that folder, download Anamorphic Creams that PDF is specific for that pack. That way it cuts through the chase of the long extended PDF of big packs. Now also you are going to have an access point for the original Red Raw source files. Do note these are very bulky and it will take a long time to download. As you can see in this case you have 150 gigs, 350 gigs, there is a, a lot of content and probably most users do not need the actual red files, but I did want to offer that for those who were interested in using red files or who were doing, you know, a motion picture that perhaps they needed those files. However, you will note that the big packs all are starting at 4K, 6K to 8K. They will be great for any project. Okay, so moving on. We have our number six folder, which is the video magazine. And inside the video magazine is where you can download and access individual elements from the big packs. So again, because some of the big packs may take a long time to download and those with slower internet may not be able to download an entire big pack and need some files right away, you can access your video magazine grab an element, download it a variety of sizes, and it's faster and quicker. There is also the elements library, and all these are our project files that I've started for you that once you download your big packs, you can import those big packs inside your Premiere project or your Final Cut project as a container. You can simply import your CinePunch and all the elements will come in. But again, you have to download those big packs and import them into these project files. Okay, this is just to get you started. Next, we have our Disruption VFX Suite. And again, you will have tutorials on installing the presets and using the toolkits here. 
Going back, we also have the Filmmaker VFX Suite. Same thing, we have our After Effects Toolkit Projects files, and we have our Presets folder. Moving on, we have our Leak Punch, and those you can just import to any project, overlay them on your footage. Now we have LUT Master, and inside we have our uh, directions, how to install the presets, and inside we have our install files, our After Effects preset file, as well as our Premiere uh, CC 2013 to 15, 17 to 18, and 2019. So depending on what version of Premiere you're using, make sure you just pay attention to which file you install. Moving on, we have our trailer punch, and those are full sound mixes of different effects and builders that you can use for your trailers or sound effects. And then finally, we have our transition punch uh, preset file. So if I go into the folder there, we have our transition punch tutorial PDF, the preview guide, and this is our transition punch presets that we install inside Premiere. And next to it, we have the new Transition Punch 5.0, which is Transition Punch with the drag and drop system with sound effects. And the Ultimate Transition Sound Pack that was released with Volume 17 is now inside the Transition Punch 5.0 folder inside the Footage folder, okay? so. You can access your sounds there if you're not using Transition Punch and you want to use the sound effects. Do not take them out of this folder. Simply highlight the folder, copy it, and paste it wherever uh, you need to. I'm going to take you into your City Punch Elements library. Now you're going to see that you have an After Effects Final Cut and Premiere folder. In this case, we're just going to concentrate on Premiere. And you don't need to use this project file. Uh, you can work however you want if you want to just work on a per pack basis or per tool basis. But in this case, I thought I'd provide a project file. This is going to be for Premiere CC 2013 and above, where to get you started with elements already installed into a project. And as you download new elements or big packs you can just import them into this project and then whatever project you may be working on in the future you can just import this entire cine punch elements library project and it will just make it easier for you to access everything at once so initially we're going to have our big packs that are just going to remind us that we need to download and import but now you do have certain assets that are already provided, such as your disruption assets, your filmmaker VFX suite assets, trailer punch, leak punch. But we're gonna go ahead and we want to start to import the big packs that we downloaded. We're gonna go to our downloads, and once we've downloaded our big pack folders, again, by default, they will more than likely be in your downloads folder for your PC or Mac. I'm just going to import these folders one by one. So I'm going to go to File, Import. I'm going to go into my Cine Punch folder. And starting with Anamorphic Creams, going to my Anamorphic Creams. Just highlight it, hit the Import button, and that's going to import all the assets for Anamorphic Creams. Go to my Cine Dust folder. So I'm going to go to File, Import. Just highlight it, hit the import button. Okay, everything's there. Just double click. So now once you've had all your elements and assets imported into your library, you can save it. And then we can import this into any other project we may be working on. So in this case, I'm actually going to open up a project in 2019. And when I want to import my Cine Punch folder, I'm just going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to select that Premiere project, Cine Punch project, Import Entire Project. You 
There you go. So now you can start to play. And in this case, a lot of these big packs are going to be either background designs, uh, sound effects, of course, uh, or overlays onto your videos. So I'm just going to kind of run through these really quick. So I'm going to open up uh, Glam here. Let me just switch to uh, preview mode. And I'm just going to grab something, drag and drop on here. Now, some of these are going to be really long, so you're going to have a lot of time to play with and have all different elements just per shot. But I'm just going to lay this over and trim it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select my mat. And I'm going to change a blending mode to add. You know, you can just see quickly that the effects are going to overlay right on top of the footage. And I can just expand this a little bit, slide this over. And you can start to just play around. In this case, I'm going to mess around and stack some just to show you how uh, quick you can harness certain effects on top of your footage. Going to Fractal. I'm just going to grab something quick. Just double click. I'm going to make an in and out point on this shot here. And drag and drop it on top. And I'm going to change a blending mode to add. And I'm just going to go into anamorphic creams, I'll grab a uh, Lomo lens flare. And these are real anamorphic flares here. I'm going to double click on this. And again, just make an in point and an out point, drag and drop. I'm just going to drag this over. And again, highlight the Mac, go to my effects control and change the blending mode to add. You can see I'm stacking a bunch of different mats very quickly here. And again, as you can see, you can stack these effects, get all different looks of uh, whatever design scheme you're looking for per shot or for your film or video. And I'm going to grab maybe some grain mats from my Filmmaker VFX suite. And I'm just going to get something rough and dirty so that you can better see it here. And if I lay this mat on top of my footage, you can see on the nested sequence, we have a, a ton of room. This is uh, in the case that you want to overlay it onto a more elongated video. I think it's about 10 minutes for the nested sequences. And you do have the individual grain mats. So in this case, I'm just grabbing the nested sequence. So I got to cut this, of course, on this shot. Delete that. And then I'm just going to highlight my grain mat here. And I'm going to go into my effect controls. Scale it to frame size. And I might just have to uh, change this a little bit. And I'm going to change the blending mode in this case to multiply. And I'm using a, a grainy filter right here, so it's a little bit dark, but you want to change the opacity. Now, we also have our LUT Master and Transition Punch presets. And in our LUT Master and Transition Punch folders, we have our preset files that we want to install. So when we want to do that, we go to our presets folder in Premiere, right click, select import presets, and let's start with the LUT master. So in our Cine Punch folder, go to your LUT master folder, installers, and you have your After Effects and Premiere folder, and you're going to have a 2013, 2017, and a 2019. So depending on what you are in, in this case, I'm in 2019. So I want to select the 2019 preset. Here it is. So you'd be good to go. And you could start messing around with colors here. I'm just going to grab a color in my pro pack. All right. So let's go ahead and install transition punch, right click on your presets, import presets. Now let's go to our, transition punch folder 
And inside our transition punch, we have our install, and there is our file. Select it. Doesn't matter what you're in, CS6, CC2013. In this case, I'm in 2019, and here we are. Here's all our different transition punch for now. And inside our folder of transition punch, you will have a preview guide. So double click on that. You can either download it or you can just access it online. In this case, I'm just gonna access it online. And that way you have a uh, current preview of all the transition punch presets that are included so far. And again, these presets are built differently than you might be seeing on other templates. There's no stacking. You can mix and match these. In this case, we have our in and out point. So my out point is the shot on the left. My in point is the shot on the right. So imagine the transition starting leaving the frame and then the transition coming into the frame. So for example, glitch camera shake, out point, drop it on my left, and my in point, drop it on my right. Now, in some cases, you want to overlap your shots. And again, I have tutorials for this that in the transition punch tutorials, there are specific videos that cover this, but I just thought I'd show you quick. So if I were to, in this case, go to something like bounce, swipe, you can see now this could work and you have this kind of black happening momentarily, or you can overlap your shots. So if I overlay my endpoint with my out point, you can see how shot two starts to come in above shot one, right? So I'm just overlaying these two shots. So some of these transitions work just by overlaying your footage. Again, there's tutorials for that. Um, I'm gonna remove this. And again, the beauty with transition punch and how it's built is that you can mix and match all these transitions. You're not uh, subjected to having to stick to one transition between two shots. So in this case, I can just grab one transition. I'm going to drop it on my out and I'm going to go into a the bounce and just add a different transition here. And you can see I got two different transitions working very quickly. That's about it. Now go play around, experiment, create, enjoy. Enjoy.